Have you ever thought about it? If you could have an Iron Man helmet or Tony Stark smart glasses, which would you choose? 360 degree holographic visuals like the Iron Man helmet or an enhanced real world experience like Tony Stark smart glasses. Such devices represent the future as imagined by humanity. These two sci fi fantasy, Stark technologies, may seem similar, but there are different types of head mounted displays. VST and OSD Video see-through, it uses lenses and other sensors to capture the real world and the way the content looks depends on how the device projects it on your display. Examples of VST include Apple Vision Pro and Meta Quest Pro. In contrast, OSD stands for optical see-through. Essentially, it's a layer of glass through which you see your actual surroundings, but it allows interaction between the virtual and real through camera positioning and chip computing. Examples of OSD include Microsoft HoloLens and Rogue Max Pro. VST devices like Apple Vision Pro are more advanced, right? Not necessarily. VST and OSD are both futuristic technology. Currently, both have pros and cons. With VST devices like Vision Pro, the real and virtual are digitalized and can be manipulated together. For example, a real-world face can be swapped out for record player. So the reality you are seeing isn't necessarily reality. Manipulating reality is cool, but it has drawbacks. It's subject to hardware limitations. Even advanced cameras can't match the human eye. Bad lighting easily affects clarity, and all those lenses and chips mean high prices. These devices are also bulky like a helmet. With OSD devices like Rokit Max Pro, the real world is the main component, but the experience is enhanced. Using a vase as an example again, we can fill it with virtual flowers and change its color to match the real surroundings. OSD devices are more portable, but this requires some sacrifices in performance, battery life, and cooling. The next generation of OSD devices will involve trade-offs between performance and weight. In this process of exploration, Rokit and Apple may ultimately converge or diverge, one in the Ready Player One direction and one in the Free Guy direction. But no matter where we end up, both paths are totally worth exploring.